What is up, all my fellow weebs and weebets? It is I, Anime Alex, back again with another stream. Two things. I got new glasses, and I am in school, so that has been putting a damper on the videos, and I am so sorry for not consistently uploading. My cat, Yomi, here wants to be a part of the stream, so if I am messing around with him, I am so sorry, because he is being very aggressive and wants attention anyways so i will try to uh upload more consistent i just need to figure out a schedule i just wanted to wait and get the hang of my first week of school and now that i am finishing my second week of school i now kind of have a grasp on when to make these videos and for today, we are going to be going over my in-game heavy bowgun build. And it's funny because I'm not actually using a lot of in-game armor. Actually, you can get all this armor, I believe, by Master Rank 2. But I know you can make this whole build by, like, Master Rank 3. And because you just need uh, Pyrarachna, Pyrarachna Kadaki's heavy bowgun, which is what we use here. And then you just need to level up the bowgun. <laughs> anyways here is the equipment i think we're on decorations but here's the equipment we we are using the lambda de la viter and this is the rarity 10 rachna or pyro rachna kadaki heavy bowgun uh the attack i believe the base attack is 370 but since i have power barrel on it's 425 you'll see soon enough uh, but anyways, the affinity is zero, but you don't really need it because it doesn't matter. Uh, defense bonus is zero. Deviation is none. Recoil for this build is very low. Reload is fast. The mods are power barrel and the cluster bomb type is arc shot and you get a wyvern snipe as special ammo. And for the Rampage slot, we did put in the Teostra Soul Jewel 2 to uh, increase our damage of our explosions. And you also get Demon Ammo with this gun, which is actually insane. You get a Wyvern Ammo, uh, obviously, since this is a heavy bow gun. You get Cluster Bombs 1, 2, and 3. And then we get Sticky Ammos one two and three and we can move while reloading it move while shooting it and our recoil is at average and the reload is at fast if you are curious if we could get this down to low i believe we cannot get this down to low because we are running max recoil down <laughs> on this build Anyways, you will need the Rachna Helm X, uh, the Jura Totus Male X, the Rena Plus Braces X, the Artillery Corpse Tacits, the Artillery Corpse Greaves, the Demon Pedalance 3, um, Pedalance, and the Fate and my Fatal Tempest Talisman is an attack boost level 3 with two level 1 slots. Uh, the, but honestly, you don't need this talisman as long as you have. Uh, a way to put attack boost level three in your talisman you will be okay so either have an attack boost level two with a level two or a level three slot for the last level of attack boost or just have an attack boost level three talisman with like no slots or whatever it's actually not that uh hard to get that's the good thing now coming down to the decorations we got three uh I, not three but we got two we are using one capacity jewel three why are we using one capacity jewel threes is because we end up getting uh ammo up from the artillery corpse tacits or ammo up level two uh technically from the artillery corpse tacits so we can get ammo up level three which gives us more sticky ammo level threes rounding us out to four in the clip which is actually quite a bit <laughs> we you would also need one quick load jewel mainly due to the fact that your rachna helm wait wait a minute wait a minute Did i just oh. 
Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, sorry. I was, I like misread something. Uh, you just need one quick load jewel one because your Rachna Helm uh, X will have one level of reload speed and your Artillery Corpse uh, Tacits will have one level of reload speed. And so slot this in, you have three levels of reload speed, uh, rounding your ammunitions out or your main ammunition, which is your stickies out to fast, which is really great. <laughs> Juratotus Mail X is, comes into play here with three level one slots, giving you, uh, a, giving you recoil down level three due to plotting in three absorber jewel ones. Uh, this also gives you evade extender. Your resent your level one resentment and your level two power prolonger won't really matter, but this does give you level one evade extender, so it does allow you to just roll out the way further. Uh, which is actually really good. And if you want to do your side hops, uh, we'll also extend those. Uh, but the main reason why we actually use Jirotodus Male X is because of Tune Up, uh, which I will get into later after I finish explaining the decorations. You will need a, an abundant amount of attack jewels, uh, four to be <laughs> precise. Uh, just so, because when you mix it with the Fatal Tempest Talisman, which should have three levels of attack boost on it, you get seven levels of attack boost. And that is basically going to increase your damage uh, or your attack power by 10% while inc adding a flat plus 10 to your raw. And then... Uh, if you have any slots left over, I just added two levels of Steadfast um, just for stun res. Uh, you could go Brace. You could go just anything else like Free Meal if you want it. Uh, those are kind of your freebie spaces. But if you did everything correctly, you should have Attack Boost level 7, Spare Shot level 3, Artillery level 3, Ammo Up level 3, Reload Speed level 3, and Recoil Down level 3, as well as Tune Up level 2, because you also get a level of Tune Up thanks to Rachna Helm, which does increase the power of your Power Barrel at that point, giving you even more damage, and then you also have level 1 Evade Extender. And I guess level 2 special ammo boost uh, in case if you want to use Wyvern Snipe. Yeah, so yes, this is honestly a very easy build to make. Uh, all it really takes is just you leveling up uh, the weapon and just getting some attack boost uh, jewel 2s. Which, that's honestly the most expensive... Well, actually, no, I take that back. Your capa your one capacity jewel 3 is your most expensive jewel. But you do need four attack jewel 2s, which is going to be the steep entry-level curve to this. But a lot of uh, your decorations you are using are just level 1 slots with uh, the 1 level 3 and 4 level 2 slots. Uh, a lot of your skills do just come on this uh, uh, armor combination. And to show you uh, the damage, I know my uh, cat is also like launching kunais. We're getting 141 from the jump. Uh, we KO. And if we charge it up all the way, you can get 309 uh, for the... Uh, switch skills, I do recommend using uh, Counter Charger. Why Counter Charger is because when the monster's down on the ground, you can charge up faster and hit for bigger damage numbers. Use Tackle because Tackle is just way better than the melee attack because it allows you to absorb attacks. Mech Wyvern Snipe because Healing Wyvern Snipe sucks. Uh, we are using charge shot because you shouldn't use crouching shot on stickies. It doesn't really do anything. And then we use free silkbind glide because of a get out of jail free card since, you know, your stickies won't proc on, uh, the rising sun. 
With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the build video and be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and check me out on twitch.tv forward slash anime ALX. I almost hit uh, the name is anime Alex, but it is spelled anime ALX. Uh, go check me out on there. The links will be down in the description. Also, feel free to join the Discord so you can see when I do go live. Um, and with all that being said, I hope to see y'all on stream and in the comment sections in my later videos. Peace out, all my fellow weebs and weebets.